This is real, baby. I'm at Dirty Girl Bass. Yeah, slack. Been rocking double G's. Feel like a girly girl. Feel like a Hercules. In a boy's world. Look, my. I haven't been handling all this new attention you've been getting lately. Taking advantage of it. Yeah. For somebody to get used to working yeah. in a music business like this? Yeah. I mean, you're used to it. Yeah. All right. So let's go back to the beginning. Um, so you're originally from Atlanta, right? Yeah. Southside. Southside. Road. Okay. But not from Cleveland Ave, though. No. Nah. Right? Okay. And. Um, you're also brothers with a uh, little kid who's another popular yeah. Atlanta artist. How much older is he than you? One year. He's one year older than you. And what was it like growing up on the South Side? It was straight. You know what I mean? She, we were doing everything. Like everything. Yeah. I ain't never been that hoe. Young nigga, I always hang with old nigga. Mom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Try to get some money. Yeah. How does uh, your neighborhood compare? Now to want to do when you're growing up. It's still the same neighborhood. Stop saying, yeah. I'm working my way up. Yeah. What were some of your hobbies as a kid growing up? I ain't never played sports. No, never played sports? Yeah, nah. They wouldn't need me. <laughs> you know, video games or anything? Yeah, I play games. Yeah. My idea. Like, they just want me playing sports and none of this shit. Yeah. What type of student were you in uh, school? What kind of what? Student were you in school? I was never in school. I got spending every week. So you didn't finish high school or nothing? Yeah, no, I got dropped out of ninth grade. Dropped out of ninth grade. What did your parents think of that when you had dropped out? They're like, yeah, but yeah, I better do so. Yeah. So uh, when did you first start making music? Like four years ago. Four years ago? Yeah. Uh, who got you interested in it? Any Nobody, kind of me. Matter? Me. Yeah. What was your first rap name when uh, you first started? It was My J Gat. Yeah. And how long ago did you change it to uh, Little Gat? Like three years ago, two years ago. Three years ago, gotcha. And uh, who were some of your favorite rappers growing up? Uh, I'm in the Thug, man. Yeah. What was it about uh, Thug that? Uh, my heart. Yeah. Be able to relate to his yeah. service and everything? Yeah. Did you know him before you started making music? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, when did you uh, first meet Thug? When well, I had got down. Um, when I first moved to Cleveland, I met him. He was in the P.E. Pub in Pavilion. Okay. He was in a Porsche. Mm -hmm. He like to talk my brother and shit. Yeah. How long ago did you move to uh, Cleveland? When I first drive in ninth grade. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, soon, like, 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 I ain't said the day. I dropped out, like, next day. Like, next day, that night, I moved to Cleveland with my brother. Hmm. Gotcha. And when did you start releasing music? Like, I think two years ago, like two years I dropped my first mixtape, it was called Super Squid. Then I had to start rapping for a little bit. Well, why'd you stop? Oh, no, I was in the streets too much. Yeah. I was doing shit, I forgot about that rapping. I wasn't even stunning shit. Yeah. And then I started back, when shit started getting real, I started back rapping. Like real in the streets? Like real, like, period, I couldn't get no job, none of that. I ain't never just tried to get a job. I can't even say I didn't. I ain't never tried, ever tried to get a job. Never filled out a job? Never filled out an application. I went that way, because that's not me. I don't want no job. You just knew it wasn't for you. Yeah. You're more of a hustler, entrepreneur type. Yeah. Okay. I knew rap, your son, they get some easy money. I know how to rap. Yeah. So when did you uh, focus full time back on the music? Like, after the night. I mean, I was going to studio, I had got down to start fucking with a lot of seven. Hmm. That's not, he told me to start. I was gonna ride at me, make that everyday thing. That's what I did. How long ago was that? Like, it was two years ago. Two years ago? Gotcha. Cause yeah, you've had a pretty quick uh, come up here the last year or so. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I saw that you uh, got a deal with Alamo. Yeah. You feel the sign with uh, a. I love it. They're the best industry. Yeah. Red record label in the industry. Yeah. How's it been so far working with them? Good. Everything organized, all that. Yeah. Everything comes, like, everything good, money good, everything. And what are some of your short-term goals in the, with music? What do you mean? Like, what are you trying to accomplish uh, in the next year or so? Trying to me and now. Trying to get the albums out. Yeah, me and now. By the beginning of next year. Yeah. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and what about some long-term goals? You looking to get Grammys? Is that important yeah. to you? Platinum, platinum. I'm on a whole nother level. Other niggas that be these street rappers. Yeah. The other niggas just trying to street rap. Have a hype in a club and shit. I'm the type of niggas trying to make albums and Hype everywhere across seas and shit. 
That's what I'm on. So you trying to get like that? Now I don't perform in clubs. I'm not steady living at clubs in love. Mm. I'm not trying to do that. Cause that's just how you gonna burn yourself out. Cause you just like you performing every day at me same club. Mm -hmm. I ain't doing that, bro. I'm trying to have shit. I'm not do. I don't want to perform until I get go on tour. I don't really? never want to perform in no club hmm. so until I go on like, tour. You want to do like arenas and stadiums yes. and venues. Like That's that. my first show. I like that one. I want my first show to be in uh, arenas and shit. Gotcha. So you I deny all club shows. I don't want to do my for So you haven't done any club shows. You just don't have the interest in it. Huh? No, I don't got interest. I don't need like that. That vibe not even my vibe. Like that's hmm. that's a street rapper vibe. That's not yeah. my vibe. Hmm. So you're on more like a mainstream pop yeah. star type. Yeah, you got I'm on shit like that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. And um, now you got your debut project, Hood Baby, dropping this Friday. Yeah. How excited are you to put this out? Excited, that motherfucker so hard. If it's not all the upcoming rappers that is hot the box, and the new rapper, and the other rappers, the rappers that are in the game, for not they ass hot the box. How long have you been working on this project? For like. Cause I really been done with the project the first two months I got signed, I was done with it. Hmm. But I've been making new music every day, hardening, like making hard songs every day. So we don't know, we, we ain't know which one to like take. Yeah, so keeps so we just got fired, but the shit been done. Like yeah. shit been done. Who are some of the producers you work with on this uh, project? Um, Pirates, um, not Pirates, but Pirates, uh, Young Land. Um, I got, well, I think I want to speak for Blue on that. I don't know. I got some shit with I am Bluey, some like couple folk, but mainly Pyrex and my main producer. What is it about Pyrex's sound that you? He got my side. I, I know I'm making hit every time on his beat. Hmm. Like he just, that's his beats, bring all the vibes out. I love his beats. Do you guys work in the studio together or is he just Not, in Yeah, beat? like we been, um, when he got a session, he book his own session, just make beats. He'll call me, say I just book a session, pull up. Hmm. Or I have a session, I had him pull up. Does he give you insight while you record? Nah. No, we we put a beat. Yeah, we put a beat up. He know I'm doing my thing. Nobody needs to say that. He know I'm doing my thing. All right, so let's talk about your single Hercules with uh, Little Uzi Bird. Uh, this is the second time you guys collabed in about a month. What's it like working with him? It's straight. Yeah. He be tripping sometimes, but it's straight. <laughs> what you mean he be tripping? He be tripping. <laughs> oh, no, he weird here. How'd you link up with him? He reached out to you? Yeah, he reached out to me. What did he say when he reached out He to just you? sent a red heart. Hmm. I sent him <laughs> the slack emoji. Oh, yeah. How long and ago sent, was that? Like some months ago, like six months ago. Like five, not even six, but like five, four months ago. Was that before you got signed or right around nah, the same time? Nah, like some months after I got signed. Okay. Like I don't really know the month because like so much shit be happening. Yeah. I don't really didn't know, but he ain't been that long. Yeah. And, uh, the response for Happy Battles was pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Hercules is going pretty well too. Um, you guys have uh, plans to drop more songs together? Shit, up to him. I don't know, he's at be, you know, some other shit. It's up to him. Yeah, because you're just ready to work right now, huh? No, I'm just ready to do what I do. Yeah. I really I, I really be happy to get no feature, no bit, bro. I really do all my shit by myself. Hmm. I'm a devil type nigga, man. I do shit by myself. Like, songs don't be like, when folks down, I be having raps on my song, we be in that same time, like, making songs together. No, like it be my it be my songs. I just put put them on there. And then, uh, okay, so you basically have the song done. And then yeah, so I remember they listen to them like, but you need to let me get on that motherfucker. <laughs> or I be there, like, you need to get on that motherfucker. Yeah. Is there Should any I, at the time where you told a rapper no? Not really. It's certain it's certain rapper like, I want to do a feature, a feature, but I ain't gonna just speak on it. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right. Um, do you have a personal favorite track on this project? Uh, let's go with me and go out to Tarantino. Hmm. Why is that one your favorite? Motherfucker so hard. Yeah. Oh God, that motherfucker hard as fuck. What are you guys talking about on that? The new, the new wave. Man, Guap. Man, and Guap, man. So that's my duo right there. We make some of this shit go crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Guap okay. is really hard. Yeah. They're my, they're my blood cousin. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. Yeah, on my mom's side. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, he's really turning up right now, too. And uh, yeah, he's actually featured on uh, another song with Marlon Quill. So, yeah, Rex. Yeah, which is another yeah. another two young Atlanta guys who are really coming up. So yeah, I found that was really cool that the four of you were on the song together. Yeah, so FM. So if you're checking it out. And um, let's see here. What are your expectations for this project? Huh? What are your expectations for this project? What do you mean by that? 
like when you drop it, you are you expecting to go platinum? Are you expecting nah, to go forward? Do are you expecting to put you on the, be on the map? Real. That's a mystery mistake because you don't never know what's going to happen. I don't even know what's going to happen when that motherfucker okay. drop. But I know that motherfucker hard for every song when that motherfucker hit from. You ain't even want to switch like yeah. from top all the way to the end. So motherfucker hard. It's going to do something. I know it's going to do something. Yeah. So you just really don't have certain. Regular having to pay for no feature with nobody today. Hit these for some, This shit ain't. Pay, man, come on, man. Yeah. Shit got done because me. You I think? did everything they had on it. I did that. Mm-hmm. Regular, you know what I'm saying? They put it together and all that shit. I love that yeah. But. Like just mean the rappers and shit. I did all that. Mm-hmm. Damn, so I'm gonna fuck them. Like, he got all these big ass right. He had to got that get regular <laughs> did. Oh man, I did it. Oh God. Relationships. Just our vibe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've done that. And um, let me see. You guys have any videos shot already for uh, the project? Uh, nah, none of songs off the project except for Loco. Logo. That was one of the singles, right? Yeah, it was singing. But the one I'm right now, that one I'm doing starting Friday, I gotta shoot all the video to the album. Oh, you gonna shoot one for every song? Or? Yeah, all the whole album. Oh, okay. Videos all the whole album. And uh what are some producers that you haven't worked with yet that you'd like to work with? Like Wheezy. Wheezy. Um uh, London. Um uh, Mike Will, Metro Boom, like folk like no. Hmm. Like Mike Boom. Oh, okay. Um not Mike Boom, but got that. Metro, Metro Boom. Boom. Mike Will. Mike Will. Uh London, Wheezy. Yeah, yeah. Folk like that. Okay, gotcha. And uh, you and Keith are basically coming up in the rap game at the same time. Did you guys plan it that way or No, I said my being the first. Hmm. I ain't know it was going to end up like that. I had my being first. Yeah. How does it make you feel this before you guys both be coming up at the same time? It's, it's straight. crazy, huh? Yeah, it's crazy. It's straight, though. Yeah. To be honest, I just be on main fuck about me. Yeah. I don't be fuck on everybody. I be fuck about me. Cause I know what I got to do. I got you. And you're really big into fashion. What are some of your favorite brands to wear? Oh, I love Gucci. Gucci? Yeah. Oh, that's me. That whole thing. You can't even tell me how to dress. I promise you. I'm the young best dressing in Atlanta, bro. Yeah. Nigga, that? when I be saying all these fuck trying to, man, you know it's serious. You got real rappers asking you, like, bro, how you getting all this shit? Nigga, I'm buying this shit. What you mean? <laughs> are you going into the stores to get them, or are you getting Man, I'm going to the store. I'm buying this shit. I got so, I don't spend so much money and need me. They text me now. Like, I got <laughs> a female that work up there that text me. When they get the I knew before they even tell anybody, they tell me what they got now. Ask me, do you want me to put something to the side for I just go buy it. Yeah. And that's going to be a big part of your image is like your drip. Right? Yeah, my drip. That shit crazy, man. Like, my room is so many clothes and shoes everywhere. Like, you ain't better just walk around that motherfucker. We had to clean that bitch up every day. How often do you, uh, like, give, give away your clothes after you? I don't give away. I ain't giving away right that. Nigga better go get some money and buy some. <laughs> I ain't giving away right that. I need all my drip. So you're not the type to just wear, wear it once and that's it? Nah, I'm going to wear it. But I'm going to keep wearing it until I'm, I ain't going to wear it like, Burn it out. I'm yeah. going to wear it one time and probably wait two weeks to wear it again with this or something else. Remix you feel me? Remix, yeah. Shit yeah. like that. I'm not having these drips. I'm having so much shit. Yeah, I saw you mention on the IG yesterday, folk, you said folks are running off your tur- turtlenecks. Yeah. They fuck around. They don't wear no fucking turtlenecks, man. They get their fool ass on. They don't even look right with that shit. <laughs> they shit be loose. I'll uh, type it. No, man. My shit fitted. I ain't even putting nigga down. I got all the turtlenecks, every color. Mm-hmm. Me and Shine. Yeah. Got every color. Besides Gucci, do you rock with any other brands? Real oh, cool? I got so off white. I got well off white. I got Saint Laurent, um, Alexander McQueen, Burberry, Burberry. Yeah. some everything. Right. And what's some of the best advice you received from either Thug or Uzi about the rap game? Shit, yeah. yeah, handle my business. They proud of me. Shit, I ain't it. Yeah. After this tape drop, you mentioned you got some more videos coming up. What else you got lined up after that? Uh, I'm going to drop a little quick little EP. Soon the tape drop, like, probably like three, four weeks after that. Drop a quick and keep the bug going. Hmm. And you already got that recorded? And yeah, done. It. It's yeah. done. I'm going to drop a crazy but true after the hood, baby. Gotcha. After the crazy but true, I'm going to drop hood, baby, too. 
Okay. Because if two days we're done with everything, gonna be done. Like, not done with me. Like, everything, just, I'm gonna be gone by then. Gotcha. But like, really, the first album, still gonna be gone by then. But when I drive crazy, like, I'm gonna be gone, but I'm telling you. Yeah. Next time y'all see me, y'all gonna see me <laughs> buy a dot somewhere. Big ass house. Promise. Gotcha. How often do you hit the studio? I mean, Every day. Every day? No, I ain't miss not one day. Mm-hmm. Since I got signed. Yeah. Do you record every day too? Yeah. yeah. Even though I don't feel like it, I still do it because I know this is my job. Yeah. How many songs would you say you said already? Over a thousand. Over a thousand. Wow. How many of those do you think you actually released? I ain't really like, I don't even release four songs out of it. <laughs> yeah, you got like, I think 15 or 16 on the tape. And, uh, I got 17 now. 17 now. I think so, the same team. I live my best life, feel like it chose me. All the doors start opening, and the dark room walls closing. I'm getting big enough, my pocket's full of stuff. I ain't no local joker, go get me a life poker. Apartments won't land no sofa, so I'm. Yeah, let's stop playing. I'm the best they doing this shit, I promise you. Nigga, the goat for real. Yeah, you're only 19 years old, right? Yeah, only 19. I'm gonna go to this shit, bro. I'm gonna sit everybody there down. I promise you. I'm make sure I fuck everybody grew up. I'm from the man, bro. I'm gonna take over all this shit. I promise you.